once I hit have a negative top, I just take a step back and go, why am I thinking like that? Stop thinking like that. Let's start thinking about the positive. Let's start thinking about what's going to make me a better person or that person's a better person. And eventually, all them negative thoughts you had about other people or other things and the way in life, like, oh, I don't want to go up to, like, I don't think I've had another day where, since now I've gone to the gym for nearly a month now tomorrow, I haven't had a thought where I've been like, no, I don't want to go today. I've been like, right, let's go, let's go. I want, I have to go to the gym. Let's go to the gym. I'm treating it like a job now. I'm treating it Monday to Friday. This is my job. If I don't make it to my job, then I have to work on Saturday. And if I don't work on Saturday, I have to work on Sunday. And that's how the way it's got, I have, my mindset is coming in now. So I that's where I want to be. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep pushing myself every day, Monday to Friday, Monday to Friday, Monday to Friday. And if I miss a day, it's Saturday. If I miss Saturday, it's Sunday. That's the way it has to go. And I have to do it. And Because if, if I drop off, I know I'm going to go back into that little rut again of doing absolutely nothing again. And I don't want to be there anymore. I don't want to be in the little ruts anymore. I want to be go, go, go. Keep moving forward, keep being better, keep clever my head where if I can not give up on this, then I'm not going to give up on anything. So if I keep going to the gym, if I don't give up on the gym where I get to the body I want and I feel great again, then fair enough, I'm going to be like, yeah, that's it. And don't stress yourself out about like, not having a social life. That's what I mean. Like, I'll go out on a Saturday or Sunday night, like, if, if, go out with a mayor, go for a pint. Don't be stressing yourself so much, like, oh, I can't have that. Monday to Friday, do all that. But then once it comes to Saturday, Sunday, relax, chill out. Maybe have a beer with dinner, have a glass of wine, have a nice juicy steak, maybe have a few fries with it. Do like that. Don't be weighing yourself down all the time. We all have our ups and downs, our little hiccups, but it's how we get back from these hiccups, how we bounce back. And I'm going to keep going and going and going. And I'm going to have my little hiccups here and there where I might have that day where I just don't want to go to gym, but I don't want to do that. That's not what I want to do anymore. I want to keep going and going and going and going. And another big help was that me was um, talking to someone like one an old friend now I'm talking to now he's a trainer and he's into fitness and all and that's why I like talking to people like that I don't care if I now if I didn't like someone back in school time or back in this time I don't care if you want to say hi to me I'll say hi to you it doesn't mean I'm going to be spending the rest of my life with you being around you all that was be polite be a human being because we don't know what anyone else's problems are. We don't know what they're going through, what she's going through, what he's going through. Just keep it like that. Like today, some fella, <clears throat> a man came up to me and asked me to send him a help and send him a text. Like, I'm not going to be a dick and be like, no, go away, leave me alone. I'm not helping you. So I'm like, all right, cool. I'll try and help you as best I can. If I can't help you, I can't help you. Helped him out, got him to send the text. He said, thanks very much. I was like, I oh, no worries at all. That's all you have to do. Just help each other out. It doesn't matter if they're man, woman, black or white, Asian anything just help each other out we're all just human at the end of the day we all cut each other up we all bleed if we don't bleed blood then you must be a bloody alien that's the only thing i say like we all bleed the same we all get along the same just like ugh, sorry mm. i'm just drinking my coffee ugh. um jesus christ lost me train of thought there do 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 uh, yeah, so anyone out there now who is interested in getting fit or interested in doing something, half an hour, that's all you need. Is if you just get, a, just look at your day, just look at your day and go, right, where can I fit in a workout? It's 30 minutes, where can I fit it in, right? Maybe you look at your time schedule, I know people have different time schedules where like they're, um, uh, they're, Monday, they're not Monday to Friday or like, they have a child, but I'm one of the people my age who aren't really doing much, who are really just chilling around at home, not really doing what they're, they're going, that, the one thing I used to always say what I used to do, I just sit at home and be like, I'm bored, I'm bored, there's nothing to do, there's nothing to do, and I'd still just sit there going, I'm bored, I'm bored, I'm bored, I'm bored, I'm nothing to do, I'm nothing to do, but now, any time I ever get that thought, I'm like, right, what can I do, where am I going to do, what am I going to do, all right, I'll do a little podcast, I'll do a little voice here, me talking, or I'll play the game, but I'll do something, I'll play a game that I've never played before, or I'll go for a walk, or I'll put the punching bag up, I'll do something, like, I just have to keep, you have to keep your mind busy, keep your mind occupied, don't feel bored, it's okay, like, you get them days where you just don't want to do something, fine, whatever, but if you really want to get into the fitness, if you really want to get back into feeling good about yourself, 10 pushes, 10 sips, 10 squats, for half an hour straight, just do it for half an hour straight, and that's it, and then you feel a little bit better, like, oh, that was nice, that was good, you keep doing it, and doing it, and doing it, and doing it, 
You want to lose a bit of weight. It's easy. The easiest thing about losing weight is stop being shit. Stop being... Monday to Friday. Monday, uh, you have seven days of the week. In them seven days, do what I do. Maybe one or two. Saturday and Sunday, there's your cheat days. There's your day you want to go out for a pint and a drink and all. But Monday to Friday is where I'm going to eat healthy, eat good, not snack on load of food, not do anything like that. Like, Saturday... Or you go out for food, or you might go to the cinema, or this time I get a big, a large popcorn, a large thing. See, that's all you have to do. Like, don't stress out all the time that you have to starve yourself and you're sitting there going, I'm starving, I'm hungry. Fine, just eat some. Have a banana, have an apple, have a few nuts and berries or something like that. Like, just don't go near the chocolate, don't go near the donuts, don't go near the ice cream. Just go to yourself, right? Working, I'm going to work hard, work hard, work hard. Saturday, Sunday is where I'm going to have a little cheap meal here, there, and everywhere. That was that. Oh no, sorry. Um, another thing as well was um, I was big, big into smoking, and now I'm off it nearly two months now. I'm not smoking a single end, not smoking anything, and it really, really did take over my life. It really took over my motivation, and now being an offer for now is I feel amazing. I feel absolutely great. I feel like the focus is back, the mentality is back, and anyone out there who's struggling or trying to give up smoking, I. Biggest thing I did was isolate myself. I isolated myself from everyone who smokes, and it's tough. It is fucking tough. I'm not gonna lie to you and be like, "Oh, it was easy. It was easy." No, it's tough. It is a tough thing to do. But I did was isolate myself. Get yourself stuff to do. Give yourself something to do. If it's just go for a walk. If it's to play in the PlayStation or watching a movie, just get something to keep your mind occupied. There's a meditation for about ten, twenty minutes. Do meditate for 10, 20 minutes. Just do keep the mind occupied. Keep it going. That's what I've done now. And now I don't even want to go touch it. I don't want to go near it. I don't even ask for it. I don't want even want to go near the stuff anymore. And look, I just don't think I'm ready. I don't think it's a bad thing. I just think I was not, I'm not ready for that now. Yeah, I'm not just ready for the smoke. Yeah, I'm just not ready for it. And I realise that now, like maybe one day I will be ready to go back to it again, when I'm a bit old, when I'm a bit of a brain, a bit more, when I have my life on track, maybe just go over to Amsterdam and do it over there, or anywhere else that's legalised, but like, for now I just think I do not have, I don't have it in me, I don't have my life on track, I don't want to, don't have everything going for myself yet, so once I have everything going for myself, then I'll absolutely... I'll try it again, maybe I'll just go to Amsterdam just for it, and that'll be the only time I ever do it, and that's the only time I will do it, but... Another thing I did was um, I got rid of everything. Got rid of every grind. I got rid of every bond. Got rid of everything that could help. That can anything to do with it. I just got rid of it. Told people don't be sending me memes. Don't be sending me funny jokes by smoking. I just don't want to go. Don't send me nothing. I don't want the thought of it in my head. I don't want anything in my head. But now I can talk about it a bit more and talk about being where I was in life and where I was about and like. You don't need it. Like you really, really don't need it. It's just I used to sit at home all day doing fucking nothing and now I look back and I go, Oh, that was a waste and wasting away in my life just sitting in my bed all day playing the game and watching food watching DVDs and just being like, Oh, I'm bored, I'm bored and the days I'd be off I wanna go gym, like, Oh, don't wanna go gym now, oh I don't wanna be there and that's what you used to do to me, you used to never want to do nothing. And now I'm just like, no, I have to, I want to do stuff again. I want to get back all them years of just sitting around doing nothing. Now I'm pushing forward. I'm pushing back into what I want to do. I'm getting what I really want in life. I don't want them jobs where it's wearing them silly uniforms and getting told where to go and what to do. I love to be in an apprenticeship. I love to have something like that. I love to be in media. I love to do acting. I love to do drama. I love to do anything. Something like that where I'm just... It's my own way. If I don't do it, then no one else is going to help me do it. And that's what... It's just like the gym. You want the body or you want to be fitness again. The only one who's stopping it is yourself. No one else is going to pick you up and bring you to the gym. I can text you and say, why aren't you at the gym today? But you have to go. You have to get up in the morning. You have to wake yourself up. No more. I'm not doing that for anyone anymore. I used to always do that thing when I used to wait for everyone. Waiting and waiting and waiting. And I'm like, all right, that's it. I'm not waiting for anyone anymore. I'm going to do stuff on my own time, my own well-being. If you're not there with a tough shit, I'm doing it without it. And now, that's what I mean. I'm back from giving up the smoke, from being around negative people, being in a job where I just hate going in every single day, just proves it that if you just do it, if you're scared to do it, it's okay, talk to your family, talk to your husband, talk to your wife, talk to your girlfriend, talk to your brother, talk to your sister, anyone, and if they see it, that you need the new career path, and you need to get out of this home, then do it, don't be scared, stop being scared, people always have this thing, it's like, 
oh, don't quit your job if you don't have a loan or job lined up. Like, why? It's like, it don't, yeah, fair enough. I understand. Like, it's a very important thing. Sorry to coffee time. Oh. Yes, it's important to have a job lined up. Yeah, it's a good advantage to have, but it's not. You don't have to. You just go right. Look, I'll save up five or six months, four or five, six months' wages, and then I'll leave the job and then go take a month off just for myself, recharge the battery, recharge the brain, and go back in and working. Right now, I'm ready to find work. I'm ready to do this. I'm ready to go find what I really want to do in life, and do it. Everyone's here to support each other. Everyone in the world. Needs to do that to each other. We need to all support each other. Don't be putting ourselves down. If you see fell in the gym or fell uh, in work and you're like, oh, look at him, he's shit. I wish I did. I've done a couple of times where I was in a job and I got shit at his job. I wish I could go back now and try and help the person and try and say, like, okay, um, right, here, look, this is what you're going wrong. I'm here to help you. Uh, if I get annoyed with you, I'm sorry. I just want you to do well. I just want you to have a job. I should have done that. I wish I did, but I'm telling anyone now who is in a job now. Don't be the person going, oh, I'm not being around him because he's an idiot or he's this. First things first is just try and help them first. Try and help them be good at their job. And if, the, if you can't, if they don't listen, can't, don't want to take the help, but then look, then just leave them alone. If someone goes to you, he's shit, he's this, just go, all right, okay, yeah, he is. But look, let's just try and put in the help. And then if the help, if they don't want the help, but they want to and don't want to improve, then it's up to your bosses and up to your supervisor then to rather get rid of that person or try and help them themselves, and then if they don't help them, then it's time for them just to say, right, look, this career isn't for you, this place isn't for you, you need to go, you're just not, you're not here, you're not helping the team out, because you're not going to help everyone else and help each other, and there's no point having someone there, and I wish now, in my next job now, instead of I'm going to, instead of people telling me, like, oh, he's shit, she's shit, or she's telling me, oh, he's bad, she's bad, I'm going to be like, well, let's try and help them, let's try and be a team together, and let's get the help that they need to get them better at their job, so then our job is less is easier for us, so we're not after doing two jobs at once, and I wish I did that, and that's what I mean, I'm changing mentality, you have to change your mentality, and my biggest advice right here today is do something not for your own self, not for your own pity, not to make yourself feel good, to make someone else feel good. Even if it's opening the door, even if it's you hear someone saying, oh, I, I, I really love a part-time job and I just can't find any. Even if you don't even like the person, or send it to them, go, look, ah, look, I've seen this for you. I hope, this is, I hope you get it, I hope you do well. Boom, there you go. Even if they don't appreciate it, even if they don't say, oh, thanks, and all, it doesn't matter. Just At least you, you could say to yourself that, I did a good deed today and I'm, I feel better about myself as a person, as a human. I held another human being out, not for my own well-being, for their well-being and their life and them to get up and running in life. I just want <clears throat> to say to everyone, I apologise for being so lazy lately and not being here and talking about all the stuff I'm on my mind. But I'm going to be back now doing episodes every single day, get to that 100. And thank you everyone for listening and I hope to see you all again. Bye bye.